Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's again talk about the open AI embedding models. I hope by now you already know that there is a new embedding models by open AI. I have already created a video earlier where I explained you how to implement the open AI new embeddings model with Lama index. And I find that some of you ask in the comment section or in the Twitter also that if there is a possibility to use that with LangChain, right? In this video, I will show you how you can achieve that with and without LangChain. Let's get started. This is the notebook that I'm going to go through and you can find all the links uh, for the, let's say, announcement or the new embedding documentation and all the different things here. First thing first, let me just quickly show you what is the OpenAI's new embedding models, right? This is the announcement here. In a high level, what you can understand is there are two models uh, released by OpenAI, which performs better than the existing one, and they are cheaper, right? That's just the high level things. If you just go down here, you will you will see, okay, this is the embedding size, this is the previous one, and there is this text embedding three, small text embedding three, large. And one additional point is also that now you can provide the dimensions of the embeddings before it was not possible it was just 1536 but now for this small you can have 512 and 1536 and for large you can have 256 1024 and 3072 and if you see the average mtb score also you can see that the 256 outperforms the existing ones that is on the high level if you want to go in depth you can just follow this announcement right by the way, I want to show you one uh, one documentation here because uh, many times it is overseen the documentation of open AIs and just following the LangChain, Lama Index or some other frameworks, right? But the documentation provided by open AI is top notch and you, you need to follow these things because here, as you can see here, what is embeddings? What are the new embeddings and what uh, what is the embeddings too? And as you can see here, open AI's text embeddings measure the uh, a related nays of text strings. Embeddings are commonly used for sorts, clustering, recommendations, anomaly detection, diversity measurement, classifications, right? But mainly in LLM case, we are just using for the sorts, right? So there are other different things also what you can do. You can see how to get the embeddings. This is the example that I took and you can even go here and do with the node. You can even do with the call also in the terminal any way you want to do. And if you scroll down, you can see all the different things. Okay, what are the what is the tokenizer being used? What is the max input tokens? What is the knowledge cutoff time? And all the different things, as you can see here, the same thing that I just showed you here. And the good part here is rough pages per dollar. So in one dollar, you can have sixty-two thousand five hundred pages. So some some of these things are not available outside. Right? You need to go to the OpenAI's documentation. And if you want to implement this in the production great applications you need to know each and every aspects of that particular model so i highly recommend you to go to open ai's documentation if you are using the open ai models and then of course you can follow langchain lama index or whatever you want to uh, use that's just my uh, two cents for you let me go to the code how to now implement this with open ai itself package right python package first you need to of course install this pip install open by the way this notebook will be in the github repository i will share the link in the description you can just run along with me okay now it is installed and we need to get the open ai api key and for that you need to go to this open ai's a platform website and you need to create the account and you need to provide the credit card and all the information after that you can create a new secret key i'm showing you this because i'm going to delete this secret key after i create this video i will copy this now i will get back to the notebook and you can use get pass this is a really good idea if i just run this it will ask me to input the open ai api key i will do control v enter now we have the environment variable open ai api key meaning that we can now use the open ai model right yeah this is how you can just use with the open ai without langchain just from open ai import the open ai's this is the client open ai and this is just the random things and if i just print this because i'm providing the text embedding three small and open ai new embedding models is great this is the sentence i want to embed and you can see that i'm printing the top five and you can see the numbers if you want to see the length this is here which is 1536 you can do the uh, same for other models also right this is great but 
what if you have already implemented some applications with Langchain and you want to just switch the models and have your uh, new embedding models by the way if you have already indexed with the previous uh, let's say with the ADA 2 model you need to re-index it right so yeah how to do that for that you can just go here and you need to install the Langchain uh, OpenAI package I will just install this now we have the OpenAI Langchain and this is the text we want to embed and I'm just showing you how you can do it with all the three different models here is the text embedding ADA002 which is the previous one or there is still the now also but uh, this is the existing one let's say in that way and now yeah I'm just doing the embedding and you can see in the lang chain and in the llama index there is uh, some differences right we have open embeddings and then there is this embed query and you can pass the text here and you can see this is 1536 this is the one that was existing ones right and now the good part of lang chain is also that you can embed the query and then you can embed the document because query is when we just pass the random sentences or normal text and documents because you might have a large document and you want to embed the whole document right that's when Langchain comes into handy because they have this embed documents also and you can just for, for this example I'm just passing this text uh, here just an example if I just run this now you can see that we have five different because I printed the five and if you want to print the length of the embeddings it will show us one because we have one document and if we just print the length of the embeddings zero then it is 1536 i hope you get the idea between this embed query and embed and document now similar approach can be taken for the new models right here is the new models three large and three small everything is same we are going to embed the same text here so yeah this is just changing the model here and this is the embed query as you can see here and you can just print here and then you can just print the length this is 3072 meaning that by default if you use the text embedding three large it is going to use 3072 and this is uh, embed documents now same thing what i just did before yeah you can just go around and play here and it shows here right what if now you want to use the small with lang chain right again as i said you it is just changing the model i'm not going to explain more here and there is no need for explaining also by default it is 1536 if you go to this document as you can see here by default it is 1536 for a small this is the same for ada version 2 also and for three large it is 3070 i find some of you being confused okay why is it default uh, why is it showing 3072 because by default it is that model but you can provide the dimensions in order to reduce the embedding size this is the specify uh, dimensions here you can just go through this link for more updates but how it works is just you can pass the dimensions parameter here and it will be changed with the dimensions the reason behind this is because the vector database because we are embedding something and that embeddings needs to be stored in some vector database which becomes the knowledge base right some of the vector stores does not support 3072 right some of them might just support 512 some of them supports let's say 1024 some of them 1536 depends you can now use in different vector stores that is the plus point here and yeah for the uh, the large as i said here 256 i can just run this and as you can see here this is 250 you can do the same for a small model also i shouldn't or i don't need to show you all the different things i hope you get the idea now that you can now embed with three different models and the plus point you can have many let's say various embedding dimensions but and the negative point is also there because if you want to have let's say the less dimensions for example i have i have said here also trading of some accuracy right the accuracy might you need to trade off some accuracy when you reduce the vector let's say the embedding dimension size yeah that's all i want to show you thank you for watching and see you in the next video